Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how the pen tool works for Photoshop CS5. The pen tool is a very powerful selection and masking tool that allows you to make very exacting selections of an image for manipulation. On the toolbar, click on the button with a pen nub. Press P on the keyboard for quick access. To start making a path, simply click on the image around its edges. Each click you make will put your image together automatically. Once you are done making the image, you can do all kinds of things. You can create a new layer that you can manipulate. You can create a mask, which is a really powerful option you have for image control. You can fill in your selection with a full color or a brush stroke, or you can create a shape, which will make for a new layer as well. Now I'm sure you want to learn how to make your path that you just created really smooth. Here's how you do it. With the pen tool, press and hold the command key, control for the PC, and click on the path. This will reveal your path points. Let's click on one of the selections to remove it. If you put your mouse over the point until your pen nub shows a minus sign, this lets you know you can delete the point. To add one, click anywhere on the path itself. Make sure your pen nub has a plus sign. Notice that you have little brackets on each side of your new point. This means that this point can be manipulated for curves, so I'll call it a curve point. The tricky part is with using these points. Hold down the command key and click and drag a point. You can move it around, but unless it's a curve point, the edges will remain straight. Click on a curve point and it will create smooth contours that you can shape. You can also use the direct selection tool, which is on the toolbar. Press A to access it and click and drag on any of the points. The brackets themselves allow for manipulation of the curves. Still holding the command key, click and drag on these brackets to create the curves. These can prove useful in certain ways, depending on the curve you are trying to contour. This tool can be very useful for making extremely accurate shapes for masking or manipulation, but it's no good for hair or multiple jagged edges. Once you learn to master this tool though, it will become much more useful than the lasso tools, which can be less accurate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below, and you can send any questions or requests for Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com.